NASA has just found a mysterious structure near the edge of the observable universe. The discovery is attracting much attention and questions, and the researchers still need to identify this object's function. This mysterious discovery proves that our universe has many secrets still waiting to be unlocked. In a recent study, NASA detected a structure in space near the edge of the observable universe. This suggests that our universe may have mysteries still left to explore. Many people are interested in what exactly this newly discovered structure could be. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay updated on the latest discoveries from NASA. And also, leave us a comment related to the topic. Number 1. NASA just detected a mysterious structure near the edge of the universe. Scientists from NASA's Hubble Space Telescope discovered the mysterious bright structure near the edge of the observable universe. This structure is baffling since it is located at the edge of our universe, which means any light we see coming from it has to travel for longer distances than light from any other objects in our universe. It is not just the object's distance that makes it a mystery. This object has been spotted at a position where there should be nothing. The area around it is almost completely dark. It should not be possible for observers to look into this area, but scientists are seeing a light coming from this location. This area acts like a missing gap within the cosmic microwave background and the bright object scientists have seen is quite possibly an artifact caused by the collision of dark matter particles. This mysterious object is located near the northern edge of the cosmic microwave background, a very hot imprint of the conventional Big Bang theory. The microwave background should be evenly distributed across all of the space and should work in a perfect uniform way. However, scientists are discovering that this is only sometimes the case. In particular, as scientists have looked more and more into the edges of our universe, they have found strange patches missing from our universe's microwave background. These patches are particularly bright, just like this brilliant structure near the edge of our universe. The bright design stands out even against other much brighter patches in our universe that point us to where we believe new objects may exist. Number 2. What is it like as you get closer to the universe's edge? There is a lot to learn from this object. Data from this spot should not have been collected since this area should appear as black holes in the background of the universe. This discovery suggests that our universe could be more complicated than we originally thought. Scientists have been perplexed by this recent discovery because they were surprised to see something in this area. Number 3. How was light detected in this region? When you look at our universe, you are looking back in time, which is why light from the object discovered by NASA took longer to reach us than any other light. Scientists believe that the collision of dark matter particles caused this bright spot, which could mean a few things for our understanding of the universe. Dark matter does not interact with electromagnetic radiation, which is how we see the universe. However, we know that it interacts with itself via gravity. The existence of dark matter is not the mystery here. Scientists found this missing gap in the cosmic microwave background on purpose. The real secret is the strange object within it. Scientists have said that dark matter could account for around 23% of the universe, and they are still trying to figure out what it is made of. Scientists may have found evidence that our current ideas about dark matter are incorrect or could be entirely different. The structure that scientists have observed is located in a missing gap within the cosmic microwave background, which suggests that the object could be an artifact caused by the collision of dark matter particles. If this is true, it will teach astronomers about our universe's mysterious dark matter. Scientists have yet to figure out whether or not this explanation makes any sense, but they will continue to observe and study this object as time passes. Number 4. The Cosmic Microwave Background The cosmic microwave background is a glow visible throughout the universe, like the Sun is visible from most places on Earth. It has recently been detected by the European Space Agency's Planck Telescope. 
This glow is made up of photons from the Big Bang, and scientists tracked it back 300,000 years after the Big Bang. The cosmic microwave background is a blueprint that tells us a lot about how our universe was made. We have only been able to see it via satellite, thanks to NASA's COBE and WMAP missions. The temperature difference between these two objects can be measured, which is how scientists have learned so much about the universe's past. The cosmic microwave background is how dark matter behaves in the universe. It is like a wave that travels throughout the universe, echoing how our universe behaved in its earliest stages. Scientists have used it to study what happened since the Big Bang. There are parts of our universe where this cosmic microwave background has been absorbed by matter and some parts that can still be detected. Scientists have been trying to map this cosmic microwave background for years. They have identified tiny fluctuations in temperature in different spots throughout the sky, and these fluctuations come from the Big Bang. These slight variations are important for our modern satellite technology because of our understanding of this cosmic microwave background. Number 5. The Microwave Anisotropy Probe MAP. The Microwave Anisotropy Probe MAP, is a satellite launched into orbit by NASA in 2001 as a joint venture between the European Space Agency ESA, and NASA. The goal of this spacecraft was to map out the cosmic microwave background. MAP's creation directly results from our current understanding of the cosmic microwave background. It has been instrumental in expanding our knowledge of how the universe began and what has happened since. Thanks to this map, we have learned a lot about how the universe works and it has helped us to understand the universe better. Scientists have been using MAP to study the cosmic microwave background. Number 6. The Cosmic Web Scientists have observed the cosmic microwave background traveling throughout the universe in a web-like pattern. The universe is made up of interconnected holes and a web of filaments. These webs are clusters and superclusters that contain galaxies, plasma, gas, and dark matter. Galaxies are located in sets that are connected by strands known as filaments. These filaments have galaxies that orbit around one another. They may help explain why there appear to be some areas where there is a lack of galaxy clusters or where there is no dark matter. As scientists collect more data about the cosmic microwave background, they can map these structures in greater detail. The structures that the cosmic microwave background helps us see include our universe's large-scale web of filaments and voids. This structure has important information, such as the differences in time between plasma and gas, and how this interstellar medium evolves. If you understand the structure of the universe's large-scale web of filaments and voids, then you will be able to understand more about dark matter. Number 7. Regions where there is no cosmic microwave background our universe contains areas where the cosmic microwave background has not been detected or where it has been absorbed by galaxies or other matter. Scientists have spotted locations where there is a darker region against a brighter area. They have also been able to observe cosmic microwave backgrounds around sites that contain large clusters of galaxies. The Microwave Anisotropy Probe MAP, data has helped scientists identify these dark areas and regions. However, it still needs to tell us about the exact nature of what is making up these dark spaces. Scientists suspect these areas are missing matter or could be holes where the cosmic microwave background is missing. The cosmic microwave background is also a type of radiation, so it may have been absorbed by matter and galaxies before it traveled to these areas. Number 8. The Cosmic Web and Galaxy Spins all the galaxies located in the cosmic web rotate at the same speed. Scientists believe gravity pulls each galaxy toward a much larger mass than itself. Dark matter could be helping to cause this effect. Some scientists have also concluded that most of our universe's dark matter exists within these filaments so that other areas can be devoid of dark matter. 
The space between galaxies is where dark matter exists, but some areas lack dark matter entirely. Scientists have said that they can detect the cosmic microwave background by observing fluctuations in temperature within these areas. These fluctuations are thought to be caused by the phenomenon of gravitational lensing. Gravity has been known to warp space and could affect how light travels through this area. This means that we could understand more about our universe's dark matter. Number 9. What is dark matter? It is impossible to study dark matter because it does not emit electromagnetic radiation, making it invisible. Scientists are still determining what dark matter could be made of, but it does appear to be responsible for the acceleration of galaxies in the cosmic web and our universe's large-scale structures. Scientists are currently studying the cosmic microwave background to try and learn more about what dark matter is made of, as well as our universe's structure. They have detected the cosmic microwave background by analyzing the temperature of various parts of our universe. They are now peering deeper into its depths to try and understand what dark matter is made of. Scientists are still determining what dark energy is, but it appears to be responsible for the acceleration of galaxies in the cosmic web and our universe's large-scale structures. Scientists have said they can detect the cosmic microwave background by observing the fluctuations in temperature within these areas. These fluctuations are thought to be caused by the phenomenon of gravitational lensing. Gravity has been known to warp space and could affect how light travels through this area. This means that we could learn more about what our universe's dark matter is made of as well as our universe's structure. Number 10. Where Dark Matter May Exist There is much debate about where dark matter exists, but scientists have been able to study phenomena that indicate its presence. For example, Gravitational lensing and anomalies in the cosmic microwave background's fluctuations are thought to be caused by dark matter. Gravitational lensing has been observed within our universe's structure, and researchers have said that it is evidence of how mass can bend light, which means that there may be large amounts of unseen mass in our universe. Dark matter has also been linked to the variations in anisotropies measured by the Wilkinson Microwave Anisotropy Probe. WMAP satellite. While scientists have not been able to detect the presence of dark matter directly, it is believed to be out there based on all of these strange observations. Number 11. The Search for Dark Matter There are a few experiments that are currently underway in an attempt to uncover the identity of dark matter. There are many different ways this could be achieved. But one way is through using electron microscopes and other instruments that can look at minute particles and determine their composition. This would involve using tools such as lasers to magnify samples and study them in detail, or using instruments like CARS, Coherent Anti-Stokes Raman Scattering. These instruments use lasers to split gas molecules, so a detector can detect the fragments. The data is then analyzed to determine the composition of the molecules. Some experiments are looking for particles that could be responsible for dark matter, such as CATRIN, Kavli Institute for Cosmology at the University of Cambridge. It consists of a device that has been designed to measure neutrinos. Since there is no evidence that neutrinos have mass, they could potentially be dark matter particles because they would not emit any light. There is also a team who are using xenon gas to try to detect dark matter. Number 12. The Cosmic Microwave Background and Leah's Map Leah was a Swedish astrophysicist who used the cosmic microwave background and her own observations to map how gas moved throughout our universe. Leah's map has become a real possibility since scientists first started detecting dark matter in the cosmic microwave background. Newer observations have helped confirm her work, and there is now even stronger evidence showing that our universe's structure still fits within Leah's map. Number 13. Our Universe's Structure According to the Cosmic Microwave Background Explorer COBE, large-scale structures make up our universe, including filaments and voids. The Cosmic Microwave Background uniformly fills these voids and they appear to be able to move throughout our universe. Our universe's filamentary web is made up of galaxies connected by dark matter strands. There are two different types of cosmic microwave backgrounds. 
primary, and secondary. During their formation, the secondary cosmic microwave background results from radiation from stars and galaxies. Still, the primary cosmic microwave background is the leftover radiation from the Big Bang event. This event created all matter in our known universe and temperature fluctuations present within this structure. The secondary cosmic microwave background has been measured in greater detail, allowing scientists to know more about the primary cosmic microwave background. Our universe's dark matter is located in shady areas called voids, but it may also be found in other places. Other scientists have suggested that most of our universe's dark matter may exist within these filaments so that different areas can be devoid of the dark matter entirely. Scientists have observed places like the Tully Fisher Boost and the South Pole Telescope, both of which show that our universe is filled with gas. This means that there may be other areas where dark matter could be present. Number 14. Stars, Galaxies, and Clusters of Galaxies Our universe's structure can be divided into groups, such as clusters of galaxies and voids in the fabric of space. To understand what our universe is made up of, scientists have used observations and computer models to determine these structures, including pulsating stars and large-scale structures like filaments, voids, and clusters. Some of the most famous results in this area of research have come from the Wilkinson Microwave Anisotropy Probe WMAP, and the two microwave background experiment, 2MAMA. These missions created maps that showed our universe's structure, and they confirmed that it was made up of many stars and voids. Our universe's structure is connected to our universe's dark matter in many interesting ways. Our universe is chock full of large-scale objects like clusters of galaxies and voids, and very small things such as neutral hydrogen gas. All of our videos are based on a collaborative effort. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment. We would greatly appreciate it.